Let's go. Welcome to the 15th episode of The Walking Dead Season 2, where we last left off. You good old Kenny. We we are walking up to here. There's there's Kenny in there. We have we brought Sarah back to the establishment. Also, you guys told me that the voice is a little loud, so I'm going to adjust the, the audio settings, turn the game volume up a little bit, and Kenny's gone AWOL. What's going on with Kenneth? Open it. Press and hold the left mouse button to grab the tent flap. Got it. What is he doing? Meditating? Or is he dead? Please come out of here. Kenny, could you please come out? Come out and play. What the hell's the point? You know what it feels like to get beaten almost to death. Peaceful. It feels peaceful. Oh. It was like I was floating away, watching the whole thing happen. I was on the cuckoo me. train. And then I woke up again, and nothing's changed. I'm still taking a beating. Every day. Duck. Katya. Sarita. No peace. You're no not rest. dead. We need you. Kenny, you're not. You're not dead. We need you. Lee <laughs> needs you. Oh, yeah, because I've done so great with everything else in my goddamn life. Oh, whoa, whoa. Why the hell could Carver have just finished me off? Obviously, I ain't I helping anyone. Some flowers or something. You help me all the time. That's not true. You help me all the time. Clem the diplomat. I need you. Hmm. I've seen you take care of yourself more than any three adults put together. But, uh, thanks for saying that. Now, nah, don't worry yourself about this. It's nothing. That I... Hadn't killed me yet, anyway. It might be infected. Don't be stupid. Let's take a look at it. Be <laughs> oh, they didn't show it. Well... There's no eyeball. Oh, shit. Does that mean what I think it does? What are we supposed to do? Where was the eye? Why didn't they show it? We should see what's going on. Clem got him. Got him out. Why is it all that blood? She's having it. Are you okay? How does it feel? It feels wet. That's how it feels. What's going on? Rebecca's water broke. Uh. Oh Christ! What do we do? Does that mean the baby's we coming? Do. We probably should have been oh, quiet. Fuck. <laughs> that means the baby's coming, right? Kenny, thank God. I think the baby's coming. What do we do? All right. Don't be All salty. Right. Give me a second. No way can Rebecca trap her like this. He's right. She's gonna make a lot of noise. They'll be able to smell What's her first, too. What's first, Kenny? What should we do first, Kenny? Kenny, come on. You gotta focus. Right, right. Sorry. Clean water for one thing, and blankets. That a boy. Gotta He's get back. Out of this damn cold too. That map shows a couple of buildings nearby. Maybe one of them could do the trick. I can't hear you because your ears bitten. The museum seems like it could be a good start. I'll go. Good idea. One point right. two miles. You go with her. Sure thing. I'll check the building by the river. Okay then. Kenny, you uh, you stick with Rebecca, and I will check the perimeter for walkers. AK-47 in hand. Sarah, you just stay here with Rebecca and Kenny, okay? Clem. What do we got I know going? it must have been hard, but thank you for talking to Kenny. No Ken. problem. That's I'd our job. I'd love for you to give me and Mac a hand looking at the museum, but I was thinking, how do we know Jane ain't just gonna take off? Maybe you should go with her. Make sure she comes back. Let her what take off. You know, she doesn't seem to like being around people much. And she volunteered to head off. She's scared cancer. about the baby. I guess it could be nothing. I don't know if Jane will come back. I think she's scared about the baby. That's what I was afraid of. That's why it might be a good idea to well, have If she wants to run, her. let her run. Just something you don't need to think her. About. April O'Neil wannabe. Okay, we're looking for warm blankets, clean water, 
disinfectant. That all sound right? Don't worry. Everything's gonna be fine. I'll go with Jade. Maybe I should go with Jade. <sighs> Better hurry and catch up, Nick. Tough decision. All right, everyone, you know, I what, know what, to what to do. do. <laughs> let's be fast and let's be careful. I guess we'll go with her. Here we go. Plain Jane. She could be gone already. Porta potty spotted. Keep your eyes open. Look at the, the retro introspective Clem over the shoulder shot. We have to talk someone else off the ledge. That's two in one episode. Oh, hey. I knew you'd be here. Are you okay? Let's play the nice role. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. Just a lot's happened today. And I don't know if... if that pixie cut's well, gonna stay put. It's sometimes good to have someone watching your back. So, come on, partner. Let's go check out that deck. I like the height. Alrighty. She's, she's softening up a little bit. Almost said loosening up, but that wasn't, uh... That wasn't the best. We'll go partner. Partner? Don't let it get to your head. Let's go. That's our line. <laughs> We've trademarked. Let's go. this place Let's is go. what we're looking for. God knows we could use a break. Sure, a creaky building. Old stairs. This looks like a plan. Well, there's a cannon. <laughs> Very effective against walkers. Check this out. A skate still locked, which means that hopefully no one's gotten to whatever was locked in there in the first place. Who knows what could be in there? Uh, Rebecca could have the baby in there. That could be a place for Rebecca to have the baby. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. All right. Hmm, maybe I can pick the lock. Do it. A nail file? Versatility is not overrated. You know, uh, it wouldn't hurt to try a heavier hand with this thing. See if you can find something bigger. A heavier hand? You might need to bust the mechanism. All right, smash it. Looks like we unlock something, so making an observation. Take a look at the old cannon. You think this thing still works? <laughs> Check the muzzle, Napoleon. Walker head in, oh. inside. They fill him with cement, so they're safe. I guess I never fully understood how a cannon works. You just put gunpowder in there and light it on fire. It's pretty much it. So. It's like a long. I guess it's broken. Alright, that's busted. Alright, so we're looking for something that's heavy handed. Perhaps. Is there anything on this board? Infographic. Union defense line. Ow! Shit! Oh. You okay? Yeah. Ah, I think I almost had it. Keep looking. Watch your language. It's for the kids. She's looking up here. What are you looking at? Loose board. Maybe they have some <laughs> cracker jacks. Is that what this stuff's called? Caramel corn. So we need. Looks like a little Bioshock Infinite back there. Find anything? No, not even trash. Not done looking yet. We go in here. Apparently not. Nothing up there. There's a lever. Nope, that's just a door. Okay, we can't leave here, so we're clearly missing something. We can talk to her. Let's give her the old talking.
can I help? How can I help? Give if us... you can find anything to help me get this open faster, that'd be great. Take a look around. All right, so we missed something. Use this telescope. Any action? There's some buildings across the river. I think I can see a church. The nearest river crossing is miles up. Rebecca wouldn't make it in her condition. Is that Sarah? In mind, Jane, there's someone coming toward us. They were limping. Shit, shit, shit. He's coming this way. And who knows if he has friends nearby. Can we fight him? Can we fight him? <laughs> It'll be too risky. I didn't get a good look at him. But we should scope him out and see what he's up to. I don't like having some stranger sneaking around so close to the others. We've got enough Justin on our Bieber. plates with a baby coming. Maybe I can talk to him. Last thing we need is someone telling their friends about the new easy targets in the neighborhood. Maybe I can try talking to him. Good call. Of course, she's Shit. she's very Hide quick now. to throw us in the fire. Very difficult to trust someone with a pixie cut. <laughs> Why don't we just pop out of the cannon? What's he doing? Hey. Oh. Don't hurt me, I'm just a kid. I'm just a kid. Please, don't hurt me. You understand me? Who are you? <laughs> I didn't click on that. Nervous. I'm, Arvo. I'm going to go. I don't want to shoot. Arvo. I don't want to shoot anyone. Especially Malinka Devochka. Uh, little girl. You don't have to shoot anyone. Just put the gun down. Take it easy. <gasps> Back up. <laughs> put the a nose down. ring. Clem, make sure he doesn't have any other weapons in there. Walker head. <laughs> the Clem stink guy. No, I have no more guns. I swear to we you. We just need to make sure you're not a... Painkillers? Anything? Said oxycodone. Whoa. That's a serious stash of meds. No, 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 no. Take whatever you want, but don't take the medicine. It's for my sister. My older sister, she's sick. The pain makes her cry, and that makes those things come. Please. Why are you hiding if it? that medicine's for your sister, why are you hiding it in the garbage? I, uh, I need to keep it, I need to keep it safe. Why, Justin? Sister or not, we could really use that stuff. No, you are not nice people. <laughs> You have already left me defenseless, and now you, you take my sister's medicine? You are worried. <laughs> hey, we've got people who are suffering. Who what needs this medicine? What's going on? Luke's still a wreck after Carver's. Kenny's a mess. Rebecca's in pain. Look at all of it. Clementine, we need people that stuff. People are suffering just as much as yours. You are not special. Clementine, yes, you must believe We don't believe, believe a fucking word take the bag? Sister. Please don't make my sister suffer. She has been through enough. Oh, yeah? Well, I think you're just some junkie. You know what that word means, oh, huh? No, no, I'm, I'm telling the truth. What you got in that bag? Upon my own life. What do we do? We're gonna return it. Medicine. Clem We're gonna return it. Hopefully that pays dividends in the long run. You're not taking them. I'm not robbing anybody. Just let him go. Oh, Thank you, Clementine. Thank you. Jane is a little reckless. <laughs> what is she oh, doing? What are you doing? You don't have to do this. Just don't let do it. Go. Jane, don't do it. Freaking wild, wild west don't out here. Don't you ever come around here again. I don't care if you do have some sick sister. The next time I see you, you won't just be walking away. She's crazy. Go. Sports ball. <laughs> He's limping. I mean, what's he gonna do? I can't believe I've gotten into this mess. So it's not always about you, Winona. Stupid kid. 
thought you were just going we to talk to him. Talk to him. I needed to make sure he didn't come back here again. Go get the others. I'm you gonna get this place opened. Then we need to get moved in ASAP. You need to calm yourself there. Unbelievable. It could have been an ally. Not anymore. Jane went and ruined the fun for everyone. He does have an AK-47 though. <laughs> Alright, what do we got here? Clem! Clem, hey! Any luck with that observation, Dick? We got all sorts of luck. I was just checking on Rebecca and Kenny. They said they hadn't heard from you in a while. I don't guess there'd be much, but Jane seems pretty resourceful. We met a stranger. Jane and I were trying to open the gift shop and a stranger showed up. What? Shit. This is the last thing we need right Jane now. Jane scared Jane him off. Jane took his gun and scared him off. Well, I, uh, glad you're okay. Looks like he has like a steak knife in his Jane's back. Still up there now? Yeah, she's trying to get the gift shop opened. You know I can't figure her out. I mean, she really lays it on the line, but at the same time, she doesn't show you anything that counts. I'm not sure what to think. I'm just still yet. not sure what to think about her. She's strong, and she's been helping us. That's. But she's cold. That's a true statement. Maybe, but nobody's that cold. I'm definitely starting to think we might need to branch out. What do you mean? Jane seems like the kind of person who gets tempered by hardship, you know? But when I look at Kenny now, he just... he seems broken. And broken people get reckless. No. I know you got a history with him. Look, I think he's a good guy. At least started as a good guy. Who are but you I to just judge? Think he's had to take more than he can handle. Are you any better? Is anyone? Whoa, whoa. Hold the on. guilt trip. I, I didn't mean... Clem guilt. I just want to survive. And that means picking the right sides. We're never going with you, coward. <laughs> I need to tell the others about the deck. Yeah, good. I will, uh, I'll see you back there. Not if I see you first. You gotta get Clem that varsity jacket. It's a necessity. Look at Clem. The lonely soul. Goes I'm out. Not supposed to be in labor yet, Kenny. And we're gonna find out what happens with the labor situation if we're gonna birth a new baby in the next episode of The Walking Dead. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, you can help out the video a great deal. And myself by hitting the like button. And I will see you guys tomorrow morning for the conclusion. I'm gonna guess it's the conclusion of uh, episode four, which is really gonna be episode 16 of The Walking Dead. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.